Hello and welcome to Shelter Mode, the premier YouTube channel for shipping container living. In this video, we feature the green on main. This is a mixed use container building in Venice, California, designed by architect Peter De Maria. Stay tuned to find out more about this amazing shipping container project. If you are looking for modern floor plans for container homes, a weekly update on case studies for most influential shipping container homes from around the world, plus detailed articles from our building guide for shipping container homes, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more weekly videos. Check out our website sheltermod.com for lots of free resources modern floor plans and blueprints if you like our videos plus our valuable content on shipping container living feel free to support our channel on patreon through the link in the description below without further ado let's get started this project is built from 14 shipping containers sitting on top of a concrete base serving as a garage and gallery space combining smart sustainable living with commercial space the first and second floors are used as residences one for the owners and another for rental each residence has an open plan living space and a core utility space at the center the top residence is 1170 square feet and is used as a home for the building owners. The residential unit is accessible from a steel staircase behind the sunscreen at the front and a secondary spiral staircase at the back. The unit has got a big sun-drenched open plan living with a cozy lounge space fitted with a sofa and two easy chairs. Opposite the living room is a dining space with a custom dining table that can comfortably sit up to six people. On the extreme end of the living room is a big, fully furnished kitchen with white cabinetry throughout for adequate storage, plus stainless steel appliances and a central island. The residential unit has a spacious bedroom the bedroom has full height glazing, which provides adequate daylighting and ventilation into the room. In addition, the residential unit has one and a half bathrooms for comfortable living. The top residence enjoys access to a rooftop deck, which gives you gorgeous views of the surrounding neighborhood. The middle residence on the first floor level is 1,200 square feet and is designed as a rental with a central core comprising of a fully fitted modern kitchen and a bathroom with a whirlpool tub and a separate shower. The sun-drenched living room with floor-to-ceiling windows and the two bedrooms are to be furnished by the tenants. The middle residence has its own deck around the perimeter of the building. The ground floor space is 450 square feet of commercial space serving as a gallery, an office space, and a garage. The space has a floor to ceiling front windows with a big open space at the front. There are three optional parking spaces. In addition, there is a handicap accessible bathroom to make the space user friendly to its new tenants. The space is secure from the busy street with a low level polycarbonate panel gate. The original container cargo doors on the southern facade were retained in a locked position 
to reduce solar heat gain into the house. The internal container walls were all cut out and removed to create expansive open plan spaces. The containers are reinforced by steel bracings crisscrossing throughout the structure and exposed on the front and the rear facades of the building. The three other facades of the building are fitted with floor to ceiling windows for maximum daylighting and ventilation of the habitable spaces. The building has a private staircase finished with tiles on the side of the building from the front connecting to the first floor level of the house. On the inside, there is very little evidence that this is a building that is made using shipping containers. The interior walls are drywalled throughout and none of the corrugated metal look that dominates the exterior is evident on the inside of the residential units. The interior walls are painted white to make the spaces appear spacious and look brighter, helping to eliminate the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container box. To infuse a bit of contrast in the design, the crisscrossing steel bracings are painted green and exposed behind the floor to ceiling glass windows to add to the charm of the individual living spaces. The floors are finished with laminated timber flooring which gives the rooms a sleek modern look. From outside, the facility celebrates its building blocks from shipping containers without any apologies. The grooves of the raw shipping container walls are visible throughout the exterior, which adds to the industrial design of the building. The shipping containers are painted with bright green ceramic insulated paint. The canopy on the ground floor level is fitted with steel railing to create a walkway all around the first floor residential unit. A big sunscreen and a rain screen on the front facade protects the habitable spaces and the staircase from direct solar radiation. At night, light oozes through the screen, forming a big lantern when viewed from the street. This building is not just green in the literal sense, but also has got very nice green design features. The building is covered with an additional roof above the containers to protect them from the elements. The roof has got gutterless eaves and therefore Rainwater from the roof of the house falls directly into the planters along the perimeter of the building to help catch the stormwater runoff from the roof. Zeriscape landscaping is adopted using drought tolerant succulents and grasses line planters on the decks. A shiny roof was preferred to help reflect sunlight and reduce solar heat gain into the building. The large roof overhangs help to sunshade the expansive glazed openings throughout the building, while passive ventilation techniques are used to ensure fresh air and cooling for the interior spaces is optimized. The big floor to ceiling windows used throughout the structure is our favorite design feature in the building. Which part of the building appeals to you the most? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to these and more amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one, our YouTube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete 
guide on how to design, how to build, how to insulate, and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs. In addition, we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world. For this and more, feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos. You can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description below.